couple of weeks the lord has been speaking to us how we need to put the lord in at the at first or he has to be first in our life the lord has been speaking to us thou shall love the lord thy god tu apne with all thine heart with all thine soul with all thy mind you know the lord wants him to be loved above everything aur wo chahta hai ki wo sari cheezon se upar prem you know and last a couple of weeks we have been hearing about relationships aur hum kuch saptahon se rishton ke bare mein how relationships can be idolatry in the presence of god aur prabhu ki upasthiti mein hamare rishte ho sakta hai ki ve murti upasna ho you know and the lord really warned us about these things aur prabhu ne in sari cheezon You know last week we heard about uh, you know we heard from the life of Martha and Mary aur humne Martha aur Maryam ke vishay se suna tha you know and how that pictures uh, the life of believers even today aur aaj ke vishwasiyon ke liye kis prakar se wo dono hi udaharan ek chitra hai while Martha was cumbered with many cares you know cares for the lord and the disciples aur prabhu ki aur prabhu ke chelon ki jo seva sevak ko you know that we could see in her life worldliness being reflected aur yahan hum dekhte hain ki sansar uske unke uske jeevan par lakshit ho raha you know it was not a focus on the lord wo prabhu kendrit nahi thi but many many things were upon her heart uske hriday ke upar bahut sari she didn't realize what was on the heart of god aur wo samajh nahi pa rahi thi ki prabhu ke hriday pe kya hai but mary chose to sit at the feet of the lord ki maryam ne chun liya ki prabhu ke charanon mein baithi and the lord said aur prabhu ne kaha that there is one thing that's needful and she has chosen that aur ek avashyak cheez hai aur wo hai usne uttam bhag chun liya yes you know as we heard If we fail to sit at the feet of the Lord now, यदि अभी हम उसके चरणों में बैठने से असफल हो जाते हैं, then we will become His footstool. तो हम उसके पैर की चोटी हो जाएंगे. But if we learn to sit at His feet now, और यदि हमने ये सीख लिया कि अभी we will sit with Him in His throne. तो अवश्य हम उसके उसके सिंहासन पे बैठेंगे. You know, so the Lord is calling His church to that place of being at the feet of the Lord. और परमेश्वर प्रभु चाह रहा है कि उसकी कलिश्या उसके चरणों में and those who choose this good part aur jo log ye uttam bhag chunte hain shall not only have what they have chosen aur na keval wo jo unhone chuna hai wo paate hain but there will be a great comment of the lord in that day of the lord aur prabhu ke aane and martha knew nothing of that kind of devotion aur martha in sari baaton ko na samajh saki yes you know all that the kind of devotion that she knew was to be busy aur that's all she knew but she didn't know the kind of devotion that mary had aur jis prakar ki bhakti jo maryam ke paas thi that was to sit at the feet of the lord ki prabhu ke charno mein baithna that which was that is what the lord desired aur ye prabhu ki ichcha you know and so we saw these two uh, you know realms of life aur ye do prakar ke alag alag jeevan ke chhe you know and uh, the lord warned us in many ways through these two lives aur The Lord warned us through these two lives. दो जिंदगियों के द्वारा प्रभु हमें हमें प्रभु ने चेतावनी दी. Now this is what we concluded last week. और पिछले सप्ताह यहीं पे हमने उसे संहार किया था. Yes, we need to understand that the Lord wants a people for Himself. He wants a wife. वो अपने लिए एक पत्नी चाहता है. Yes. He wants to have a bride. Wo aisi dulhan chahta hai. He wants to have a wife. Aur wo aisi patni chahta hai. Who has eyes for him alone. Ki uske paas aisi aankhon jo usse akeli dekhti ho. 
a body of believers whose loyalties are undivided aur aise de jiski nishtha mein abadit ho yes he he will he wants to have a people who will have everything including human relationships to sit at his feet aur aise log jinke paas har prakar ke rishte naate ho par ek hi ve prabhu ke charno mein baithe yes every relationship that is surrendered to christ aur har ek rishte aur naate prabhu ko samarpit kar diye jaye that nothing will have precedence over him aur koi bhi cheez uske upar na ho yes he wants brethren brothers and sisters who will follow him whither so ever he goeth aur jahan kahi wo jata hai wo aise bhai behan ko chahta hai ki uska anusharan kare he wants a first fruits company of saints who will stay true to him aur aise pratham phal ki mandali ho jo ki uske liye satya ho yes who will stay pure for him uske liye pavitra they will become bone of his bone and flesh of his flesh you know and it's very important that we give ourselves to this work of god in our lives so it is not just that we spend you know all our time with the word of god and in prayer that's not what it means we must spend time with the lord to sit at his feet means much more than that it is to surrender our lives at his feet it means everything in our lives is brought at his feet it it means that he is uh, the the highest and this the, he is the first in our lives yes everything is laid at his feet everything is at his feet you know that's what we see in the life of the apostle paul you know he was a man very busy and we see in second uh, corinthians chapter 12 we read he 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 sp- speaks there about the cares of the churches yes the cares of the church and we we see him one who was in so many uh, uh sufferings and difficulties because of the gospel aur us samachar ke karan uske zindagi mein takleefein aur pareshaniyan thi ye hum dekhte but in the business of his life aur uske zindagi ka jo karya tha in all that he was doing unto the lord jo kuch wo prabhu ke liye kar raha tha one thing is very clear aur ek baat bahut spasht hai he was one whose focus was on the lord और उसका केंद्र एक बात निश्चित है yes. केंद्र केवल प्रभु था हिज पोस्चर वाज एज मैरी एट द फीट ऑफ द लॉर्ड और जिस प्रकार से मरियम प्रभु के चरणों में बैठी थी इसी तरह से उसका भी आसन था यू नो वी आल्सो कैन सी द एग्जांपल ऑफ मोसेस इन द ओल्ड टेस्टामेंट हम पुराने नियम में मूसा के उदाहरण को भी देखते हैं दो ही वाज अ बिजी मैन विद यू नो मिलियंस ऑफ पीपल बीइंग ब्रॉट आउट ऑफ इजिप्ट एंड हेडिंग टुवर्ड्स द प्रॉमिस लैंड और एक बहुत ही व्यस्त व्यक्ति था जिस जो कि मिस्र देश से एक बड़ी संख्या के इजरायलियों को उसके वाचा के प्रदेश में ले जा एंड मूविंग टू द लैंड ऑफ प्रॉमिस और वो उस वाचा के प्रदेश की तरफ बढ़ रहा था यू नो ही वाज वेक्स्ड विद मेनी सिचुएशंस जबकि उसके सामने बहुत सारी परिस्थितियां थी एंड येट तो भी द पोस्चर ऑफ मोसेस वाज जस्ट लाइक मैरी एट द फीट ऑफ द लॉर्ड और उसका उसके उसका आसन बिल्कुल वैसी था जैसे कि मरियम प्रभु के चरणों में बैठी हुई यू नो हिज दैट वाज द पोस्चर ऑफ मोसेस और ये उसका मूसा का आसन था ही वाज ऑलवेज देयर यू नो टू लिसन फ्रॉम गॉड वो हमेशा सदैव वहीं था प्रभु को सुनने के लिए यू नो गॉड स्पोक टू मोसेस और प्रभु ने मूसा से ही वाज इन द प्लेस ऑफ हियरिंग द लॉर्ड एट ऑल टाइम्स सदैव हर में हमेशा 
You know, so my brothers and sisters, we thank God that we can spend time in His presence. We can sit down with the Word. We can kneel in prayer before the Lord. But to bring all uh, our life at the feet of the Lord is a great challenge in our lives. It's a posture we need to maintain in our lives. And may God help us that He would be the highest in our lives. You know, that's the posture the Lord wants. His church is remnant in these end times to maintain. And may God help us. Let's move on today.